Hello Pisces, this is Meredith. I'm here to do your July 2018 general reading. Uh, I invite you to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos as well. It'll give you a nice, full, clear picture of the energies that you will be working with throughout the month of July. So let's get started and see what's going on in, Ju in July for you. Six of Cups. I love this card. I'm falling in love with this card. My favorite card's really the Two of Cups, but the Six of Cups is really, it's a close second for me. This is Water, it's Sun and Scorpio. This is a Harmony card, and it's, it's love, deep, deep love. Look at that couple. I say it every time I turn this one over. I'm using the Cosmic Tarot right now. And one of the things that stands out to me on this card is how close and how intimate this couple is. And they're not even looking at one another because they don't need to. They're so connected. They have a deep, spiritual, connected, telepathic even, harmony between them. They can communicate without speaking. Their body language says it all. It's body, mind, spirit, harmony too. It's heaven on earth. These two are creating heaven on earth. And the energy of them together is inspirational to the to people around them. Whether it's inspirational in a relationship sort of way or inspirational in a joyful, happy sort of way, these two generate peace and love. That's that's a pretty sweet card to start out with, Pisces. And I've been doing readings like this for quite some time. And I have to say, <laughs> Pisces has gotten a raw deal over the last year in terms of um, pulling cards like this. I don't see a lot of this with Pisces over the last year. So uh, I feel that the Pisceans have been doing a tremendous amount of inner work and their relationship work um, or some of their relationship dreams have not been very fulfilling in the cards and that can be a drag uh, especially if you're a Pisces who is hoping to create a relationship and so many are anyway let's move on see what what um, goes with this but I love that we're starting out with this one Pisces we don't see it in your sign very often so that's a beauty Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, that supports what I was just saying. There's a level of mastery here. Nine Nine isn't quite a completion card, but it's right up there. And um, this is this is an Earth card. It's Venus in Virgo. This is stability. So Pisces, we're all so watery. I have a lot of Pisces in my own sign. Um, it's everywhere in my chart, so I can relate, folks. Uh this nine is really stable for a Piscean, actually. We typically look to the fours, even the eights for stability, but there's just this little something extra in the nine here for a Piscean. We're, we can be very wishy-washy and we flow into and out of situations and circumstances and interactions with people and we are not good with boundaries at all what boundary where that that could be a piscean motto so this this can be one of the challenges when we're working on uh, relationships whether they're romantic uh, whether they're uh, friendly familial or career-based that can be difficult for us but it looks like here there's a sense of independence here The other thing that's nice about this is there's a wildness to this card, which is another reason that I really appreciate it. Why Our wild nature isn't meant to be tamed at all. I, it's up to us to temper it, but to be tamed and to fall into some sort of order does not come naturally. And in this card, it's represented, she's got herself together, but... If you look at her face, 
I mean, that woman, you just don't even know what's going on behind her eyes. She looks so serene and put together, and I got a feeling she's thinking a few wild thoughts. <laughs> I encourage it. She's passionate, too. So there's passion with passion. Pisces, you just might be developing a relationship at this time. This is also about living abundantly um, and being at home in your own skin. So this past year, as I'm saying, there hasn't been a lot of this in the Pisces readings that I've done. Uh, so this is a breath of fresh air. There has been a lot of inner work that's been going on in the Pisces readings. And I'm feeling like this nine represents that inner work, a level of self-mastery. And it's like we're taking it out for a test drive now. <laughs> and that's going to be fun. Ooh, eight of cups. Yeah, a departure. I like that. We're going on an adventure. Eight of cups, it's water. It's Saturn in Pisces. This is going with the flow, uh, but in traditional tarot decks, you usually see seven cups, and one is with the person who has their back to us. They are headed for the horizon. They're going somewhere else. They don't even know where they're going. Pisces, we do that. We just take off and don't know where we're going, but it's okay. We usually end up in pretty cool places. Um, eight of cups. It's going with the flow. It's a departure. It's also manifestation and emotional intelligence. Emotion is our first language, really. Uh, the Eight of Cups can mean that there is stagnation and boredom, but doubled. So we've had enough, and we're moving on. We're taking all the best of the Seven Cups we're leaving behind, putting, them in, putting it in one, and hitting the road. That's good. See, that's the wild instinct. That's the wild nature. And that's what happens. You just reach a point and you got to move on. Let's see what's next. King of Wands. Sweet. That's air and fire. Cancer, Leo energies. I like that there's a king here. Kings are all about self-mastery. This one is fiery. He's a wand. But he's an honorable man. He's self-motivated, uh, energetic. He's courteous. He's considerate. So these are all qualities that we've been developing over the last year. We're strengthening those qualities. My intuition tells me the Eight of Cups stands for a heightened awareness that has really moved us in our foundation and we're we're on we're off on a new adventure a new journey all together it is spiritual in nature but we're connecting with other people that harmonize to the frequency we're at which is pretty intense when it comes most especially to emotional communication which Pisces are masters at so that's exciting and it's good to have a king there a real good thing to have a king there he's strong he's passionate he's ambitious um, and you know what this guy has boundaries he knows how to kindly and diplomatically make others aware of them Hmm. That's good. Positive, positive. Let's see what's next. Oh. Come on. Nine of Swords. Okay. It was all going so well. <laughs> That's an air card. It's Mars and Gemini. This is, this is anguish. This card. This is the I'm up at three in the morning and haven't slept all night card because I've been turning over worrisome thoughts. It's an internal struggle. You know, though, this is the work that's been going on for the whole past year, maybe even a little bit longer. 
this has shown up in more Pisces readings over the past year than I even care to recall. But a lot of us have been churning because we're ready for a change and not just any change. This is life changing. Eight of Cups. You know, if you're looking at, say, the Universal Way Tarot deck, Rider Way Tarot, you're going to see a cloaked figure um, with a usually with a hood up and one cup walking off. There's like a mountain range, and they're headed for that. And Pisces, I feel like this is what what we're leaving behind. We've done so much work. I love that the king's next to it because it stabilizes this card. It's also a nine. It's close to completion. So we may find that we're still having a tendency toward doing this, but we're we're almost over that. That's exciting. Let's move on with the reading and look at the Chuck Spitzano Love Pack cards. Because there is love here. We started out with it. There's passion here. It's this card. It's this card. It's also passion for a new adventure. And you know, even the nine here, the nine of swords, this is passion for our own selves. This is how committed we are to our journey. We believe in it deeply and anything that threatens us has overwhelmed us for a while. And we've sat up many a night turning it over. But now we've made a decision and we're moving on because that's where we're headed into delight. <laughs> into delight. Into the light, folks. <laughs> we could make a rap song about that. <laughs> I promise not to do that right now. Let's see what's next. We're looking we're looking for, you know, this nice sunny meadow with happy people that harmonize with us and enjoy our frequency and we enjoy theirs. This is part of our adventure. This card, I don't know. It, I shuffle and shuffle and shuffle between layouts and joy just keeps coming up. Yeah, because this, we're done with this. We're ready for some joy. Okay, let's see what's next. We're not just ready for joy. We are ready for intimacy, which can be found in our first card. Pisces, I dare say there's someone new in your life and you are grooving on that energy and they're grooving on yours. So that's exciting. Congratulations. All right, we're gonna close out your reading with Dorian Virtue's Angel Answer Cards. I'm gonna pull three cards for you. You can ask a question of those cards. Let the, all three be the answer. You could ask three questions. It may be related to what's here for you. It may not. It does not matter. But I will relate it to what's on the table. First card. Ask for help from others. Yeah. Pisces, you tend to go it alone because you're so um, intuitive and tuned into everything and you usually know the answers before um, anyone says them out loud. However, it is really good to get feedback from those you know, love, and trust who do not try to unduly influence you. You know, they're, you will have some very trusted souls in your world, Pisces, and these are the people that you want to communicate with. If you have questions or uncertainties about this process that you're in, reach out to those people. Or <laughs> ask your angels. You're good at getting signs. You're really good at getting signs. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't need to say anything else except Pisces. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful July. Again, I encourage you 
to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos as well. They are all up on the channel. They were a ton of fun to do. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. This is a new channel. It needs some circulation, and I certainly appreciate you giving it some love and passing it on. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for all the daily readings, and I'll be back again with a monthly for August. Be well, Pisces. So much love to you.